Secondly, time was given us to protect us from forever. If you had a pain in your back in eternity, it would be an eternal pain. Thank God for time. Time has a beginning and an end. Time was given to us to measure the purpose of our life, why we live. I thank God for time. But time has some limitations. God says, look, when I gave you birth, I hired you to do something and I got a certain period for you to do it in and you can't exceed that. Time is determined. I like this one, Psalm 90 verse 12, read. So teach us to number our days that we may apply our hearts unto wisdom. In other words, let me know how long and how much I have to do so I can use my days effectively. Ecclesiastes 8 verse 6. For there is a proper time and a procedure for every matter under heaven. In other words, there's a proper way and time to do everything. Whatever you've been through, you can now say it was last year. Tell your neighbor, I was broke last year. The next thing that is important is that expect things to get better for you because they are see life is cyclic you're not what is whatever experience you're having right now it has not come to stay it has come to pass not to stay just to pass it's just going through the biggest challenge is is to know what's happening this is a part of this thing we call life this too shall pass and maintaining perspective putting it in perspective how do we get stuck? A friend of mine, working on a job, loved the company very much, expected to retire there. And one day they call him in the office, ask him for his badge and identification, told him he was fired and he had to leave then. He was devastated. And if you came anywhere near him, he will tell you his story. As we all have stories. Even when he got a job, he went on the job telling anybody who would listen how they fired him unjustly. And he always ended with, it wasn't fair. Life isn't fair. It's not fair that birds eat worms, and they do. In other words, whatever happened in the past separates you from the future. That's how good time is. I used to be sick. That was yesterday. Health is on the way. Time separates your past from your present and your future because time protects us from living in a permanent condition. You won't be a divorcee all your life time will prove that you won't hurt with grief all your life you won't be sitting around because that man didn't marry you where there's a will there's a way there's another man on the way with a fantastic life with plenty more money than the one you was trying to get time will sort this out you know when you go into a service station to get gas you don't go in there and just start pumping when you push the lever up it clears the previous bill by the same token, if you want to begin to move, you've got to clear your mind of all the unnecessary luggage and baggage that's weighing us down. All of us have experienced some tragedy, and if we haven't, we will. Sometimes your life will be in a slump, and you can either let it destroy your life, or you can build upon it. I'm not going to let this destroy You can permit it to let it hold you down, or you can decide, I'm not going to let that happen to me. I'm bigger than this. I don't care how good you are, I don't care how talented you are, I don't care how much you work on yourself, there are some times when things aren't going to go right. There are times when anything that can happen will happen. Make a declaration to yourself. Declare all out war that you're going to get out of this rut. I suggest to you that if you are facing a challenge, don't stop. Stay busy. Work your plan. Continue to do those things that you know that work for you after you have evaluated yourself in the situation. Sometimes you have to back up and go within and pray and meditate and recharge your batteries. Go away, clear your head, and then come back and look at it from a different vantage point. Nothing is permanent in time. Make a note of this one, please, and this is very important. Time is the only commodity on earth given equally to every human being. We don't possess the same amount of money. We possess the same amount of time. So the key to life is what you become in life is determined by how you use the time you have. And that's why we use terms like spending time. Time is a currency. Every human has the same amount every day. And time like currency must be spent. Time is used to buy life. So whatever you are, you spend your time buying it. Even if you're broke, you use your time to become broke. You see, time determines 
everything. If your marriage is under stress, it's because you haven't used your time in your marriage properly. Time is so powerful that whatever you invest your time in, you become. You got one new year about to start. My question is, what you gonna do with the next 12 months? What are you gonna look like? What are you gonna have or not have? There are some people in your life